Previously in the text analysis in natural language processing, we have seen techniques like stemming, lemmatization, and we have also seen how we can use both stemming and lemmatization. Apart from that, we have also discussed about stop keywords, and we had also discussed through code how we can use both stop keywords, stemming, and lemmatization. Now we are going to discuss about document matrix. Document matrix can be created by using bag of words and TF-IDF model. So TF-IDF model is basically called as term frequency and inverse document frequency. Let us see how we can do bag of words model and we'll see discuss the theoretical and the code part right now. Now let us see how we can implement the document matrix by using bag of words. The main reason why we are creating the document matrix is because the machine is not able to understand the text format or the words or the sentences that are usually present in a paragraph or in a corpse. So because of that, what we will do is that we will try to convert these words into some integer format into some way, which is basically by using bag of words technique. Now we will go ahead and see how bag of words is really implemented. I'll just move to my next slide and show you an example. So let us take this sentence's examples. So I have three different sentences. The first sentence basically says that he's going to the market. The second sentence says that he's going to play cricket. And the third sentence basically says that she is a famous person. Now let us see how we can apply the bag of words onto this and convert this into a document matrix. The first step always is to convert these sentences into lower cases. So after lowering the sentences, it will look something like this, where all the capital letters will become small letters. The main reason why we are lowering the sentence is because there will be some of the characters, sometimes it will be present in capital letter, sometimes it will be present in small letter. So this will actually prevent the duplication of the same words that are present in all the sentences. Now we have lowered the words in the sentences. Now let us see what we will do in the next step. The next step is basically tokenization. The tokenization is nothing but we are converting that whole paragraph that consists of three sentences into three different sentences. So here I have sentence one, sentence two, and sentence three. Now let us see what we do in the next step after tokenization. The next step is basically to create the histogram that is nothing but the frequency of the words in the sentences. Let me take an example and see how we can actually see the histogram. Histogram is nothing but we are just trying to find out the count of words in that whole paragraph from multiple sentences. Now let us take an example. In the right hand side, you see that there is a sentence one and we have something like he is going to the market. After we see these sentences, what we do is that we create another column which will be having the words and the number of count of the words. When I go and see the first sentence is basically he, what I do is that I take that as a single word and then I actually raise my count to one. Then I go to my next word that is is, I write it down in my next table and I make that count as again one. Similarly, this I will be doing for the other words basically that is going to the and market. Now you can see that I have updated the count of all these words present in this particular sentence one. The next step is basically to take the sentence two and again start counting the words if it is present again. So again, my second sentence starts with he. You can see that he was already present in my table. I have incremented the count to two. Similarly, when there was is, I have again incremented the count to two. Going is also getting incremented to two and two is also getting incremented to two. Now we have some new keywords like play and cricket. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to add those words play and cricket into my histogram table and I'm again updating the count to one and one. Now we have seen from the sentence two and we have incremented the count and placed the new words that are actually present in this particular histogram table. Now I'm going to consider the same thing for my sentence three. Now in my sentence three, basically the word is basically starting from she. You can see that I've added that word she and I've incremented the count to one. Is is again present. I'll be seeing the histogram table where is is actually there or not. If is is there, I'm going to increment the count of that particular is word over here. So the count is actually incremented to two. Similarly, a is here. You will be seeing that if there is any a word, if it is not there, we are going to add it as a separate word in the histogram. And my next word is basically famous and person. 
since famous and person was not already present in this histogram table i am going to add that word too so i have added famous and person and incremented the count to 1 finally you will be seeing that this particular table on the left hand side this board table basically shows what is the frequency of the words that are present in all the sentences in that particular whole corpus now you see that we have actually found out the frequency of the words from the paragraph or from the corpus now the next step is basically to sort this particular words based on the frequency in descending order descending order basically means the numbers the words that are starting with higher number to the lesser number so if i go and see in my next slide you can see that after sorting the frequency of the words since is was present for three number of times we have actually sorted in the descending orders we have actually started from three two and one now you can see this basically shows us the frequency of the elements of the words present in the complete paragraph whenever we divide into sentences we will be this seeing this kind of frequency now from this you have seen that we have sorted the frequency of the words in the descending order the main reason of sorting the frequency of the words is basically because when you are working with a bigger paragraph or a bigger corpse which may be having more than 20,000 words at that time we have to do this step because there will be so many words that will, be, that will be repeated again and again. So unless and until you don't know the frequency of the words, you will not be able to provide it to the model for which word it has to focus more. Now you can see the frequency of the words with is going he to a is more. So this is in the top. Now there will be a possibility where many of these words will be having count as one. Now in your paragraph, suppose if you have sentences such as names, those names are usually coming once or twice in your whole complete paragraph or whole complete document. So what we can do is that this kind of elements or this kind of words which are just having some count as one, the last element, you can actually remove it from your complete frequency of words so that it is not necessary that you just take some of the words that have just appeared once or twice in the particular document or in the corpse. Now in the next step you will be seeing that we will be not taking all the frequent elements instead we will be focusing on some of the frequent elements from this particular histogram and we will be trying to use it for creating our bag of words. So let us go to the next step and see. Now in this particular example you see that there are total 11 words. Now from this 11 words what I have done is that I have taken the topmost and trying to take the topmost frequent words. Now if I take the topmost 8 frequent words, what I do, my histogram will look something like this. Now you can see that I am having words like is, going, he, to, a, cricket, famous and market. From our previous slide you can see that person, play and she has been removed because these are the less frequent words that have actually appeared in the whole document. And if you are training our model, we will be focusing on more of this kind of words, that is 8 most frequent words. Now in this histogram, we have actually taken the 8 most frequent words. Now let us see how we can use this 8 most frequent words and convert into a document matrix by using bag of words and see how we can actually present that to a model so that the model can be able to understand it. So here is it. In my next slide, you see that the bag of words document matrix. The bag of words is usually represented by columns and rows. In the columns, you are going to take all the 8 most frequent elements and in the row wise you will be taking that is basically document 1, document 2, document 3. So document 1, document 2, document 3 is also known as sentence 1, sentence 2 and sentence 3. And in the column wise you have the most frequent elements that is 8 most frequent elements that we have discussed in the previous slide. So we have actually written it like this. Now the next thing that we do is that we take each and every sentences and we try to populate the values based on that particular sentences. So let me go to the next slide and see. Now suppose if I have sentence 1, that is he is going to the market. Now what we do is that in the document matrix, the most frequent word was is. Now we will be seeing that whether is is present in this particular sentence or not. Now we see that is is already present. So what we do that in sentence 1, here is a keyword called as he is going to the market. Now you can see that from the most frequent elements in the column side, we have is. So we will compare whether is is actually present in this sentence or not. If it is present, we are going to increment the count to 1. Then we are going to go to the next column that is going. Then again we will be seeing that if going is present in the sentence or not. If it is present in the sentence, again we are going to increment the count by 1. Let us see the third column that is he. 
we can see that he is again present in sentence 1, we are going to increment by 1. Similarly for 2, now in the fifth column you see a word A. Now let us see whether A is present in this sentence or not. If it is not present, you make that value as 0. Now let us go to the next column and see for the word cricket. You see that cricket is not present in sentence 1, so we again make that value as 0. Similarly, in the case of famous, we make it as 0. But what about market? Market is already present in the sentence, so we make the increment the count to 1. Now we can see that how we have converted sentence 1 into some integer formats like 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This conversion is very, very important for the model because the model is only able to understand the integer format. It won't be able to understand the text. Now we will be seeing sentence 2 and we will be seeing how we can apply that to a bag of words. Now sentence 2 is basically saying he is going to play cricket. We are going to apply the same strategy and populate the values based on the words that are present in the column. But make a note over here. Suppose if we have this going keyword again repeated in this sentence. And if you see again going keyword over here, you have to increment the count to 2. It will not be 1, it will be 2. Now let us see the third sentence. Now the third sentence basically says that she is a famous person. You do the same process of the bag of words with respect to the document matrix. Whichever words are present in the columns, that is only getting incremented over here. The remaining words is having zeros value. Now this particular document matrix is very, very important for the model to understand because the model does not understand text. It understands integers, numerical values or any other values apart from words or text. Now you have seen the theoretical description of the bag of words document matrix. The next step will be basically to code it by using Python and some of the libraries that are present in sklearn which is nothing but skykitlearn. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos. A cat killed. Average is dead.